Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to my basics of texturing tutorial inside of Blender. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to unwrap a cube and texture it inside of GIMP. However, you can use Photoshop if you happen to have it. As well, we're going to look at two ways to view it inside of the viewport inside of Blender. Um, note that this tutorial won't go too advanced into texturing. However, I do have more tutorials planned that will cover you know, unwrapping more complex objects. All right, so let's get started. Sorry, started, shall we? All right, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to hit tab to go in edit mode, and then we're going to wanna to hit U to bring up the UV unwrapping. And for the cube, we could do unwrap. Uh, let me show you an example here. All right, so go down to the bottom and expand the viewport and cut it in half and then go to UV image editor on the left click X to get out of view to get out of the render results now if we were to unwrap it and just do a regular unwrap it would just unwrap each face basically and overlap it on top of each other which is not something we want you can see this here um, while this would work fine for the cube uh, Another method you can use is the Smart UV Project, and you can just leave the settings at default. We'll cover those also in a later tutorial, and you just hit OK. And now you'll see that each face has been unwrapped, and you can see in the 3D viewport which one I have selected. Alright, now just like inside of the 3D viewport, you can scale by hitting S to give it more space on the texture sheet. You can hit G to move it around, which is grab. And R, you can rotate the face. Uh, in a later tutorial, I plan to show you how to create texture atlases inside of Blender. And in that tutorial, we'll actually cover more useful means of moving it around. However, for now, we're just gonna keep it at default. Okay, so now we're gonna go to UVs export UV layout we're gonna dump it on our desktop and I'm just gonna call this texture.png export UV layout okay so now we're gonna to go to GIMP file open desktop texture.png and by default it's 1024 by 1024 um, before we go any further, if you were to click new right here, you could give your new image a name and you could define how big you want the texture to be and you could export that out. However, for the sake of this tutorial, and I should have explained this first, we're just using everything at default. So we have a 1024 texture. All right, so let's see, on one of the faces here, I'm just gonna write high and we're not gonna bother making this all fancy. And then I'm going to use the bucket, the pattern fill, and I'm just going to randomly fill this up with random patterns found inside of, well, rather given inside of Blender. Okay. So now we're going to do a file save. And now our texture is saved. Now, there are two ways to view this. Um, the first one, which is the default one, we're going to cover is multi-texture mode. So for me, I'm gonna go to the 3D viewport, I'm gonna hit in, and then in display where it sees, says shading, we're gonna set this to multi-texture. All right. Now, we need to load up our image. So what I'm gonna do real quick is, with our cube, I'm gonna go over here to texture, and by the way, if you don't know how to move these panels over here, it's middle mouse button, hold and drag, all right. Now, with our cube selected, make sure text, which is the default, the type, we want an image, and we want to open, go to our desktop, and select texture, and then open image. All right, now, I guess we'll just cover, oh, that's right, I set it to multi-texture, sorry. So, when we set it to the viewport shading, you notice it's all white because we don't have a texture. So go back inside of edit mode, and then in your 
UV image viewport. Select texture.png and now you'll notice that our cube is fully textured and we have high which is written kind of odd but that's okay. Alright, so if we would like to see this in GLSL, we hit in and I'm going to collapse this. Alright, now for shading, now let's set it to GLSL. Now we're viewing it in GLSL mode. Um, there's an additional thing you have to do here and where it says mapping, and it says coordinate. You want to change it over to UV. And this actually takes into account of the light source. So I'm going to hit 7. And then I'm going to shift D, duplicate the light a few times. Then I'm going to move this one down. And I'm going to move this one up. All right. Okay. So that concludes this tutorial and texture in a cube. And the next tutorial I will cover a little bit more advanced topics and we'll texture an actual 3D model rather than a cube. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like, you can follow me on Twitter as well. Uh, if you have any questions, go on ahead and subscribe. Uh, sorry, not subscribe. Sign up at the forums, which is also in the description. As well, I also have an IRC chat. If you have any questions, you can chat with me live. Uh, go on and check the description and the forums for information on how to join. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.